Hey everybody, we're going to talk today about using a diagonal grid. A diagonal grid is really helpful when you have a photo that you want to draw and you want to draw it on larger paper to make the picture bigger. Um, a diagonal grid can be used to help your final drawing be very accurate so you know where to put things and um, how to place things in your composition. So I have a photo printed out on 8.5 by 11 paper. The first thing I'm going to do is cut the margins off the photo so that all I see is the picture or the part of it that I want to draw. With a diagonal grid, you don't have to do any measuring. You don't have to use ratios. You use the actual picture to determine the size of the grid. So now that my margins are cut off, the first step is to set your picture in the bottom left-hand corner of your drawing paper and you want to line the corners and edges up as much as possible. Holding your picture in place, I take a ruler, I'll put one end of my ruler on this corner and the other end of the ruler has to go through the corner of the photograph, not through the corner of the paper. So it's going through the photograph from corner to corner, right here to here, and then I'm going to draw right over the top of the picture and onto the paper. Once I have that line, I'm going to move my photo out of the way. You can see how it left a blank spot where the picture was. So using the line that I had left over on top, I'm going to line it up with the corner on the bottom and finish that line. So what you should just have is a diagonal that goes through your paper. Now what I can see is that this went off the top of the page, this line right here. So that means that my picture now has to slide to this top corner, right here, line it up again, and I'm going to draw another diagonal line which will make it an X. So I'm putting my ruler through this corner of the photo and this corner of the photo again. And I'll be really precise on this part, draw through your photograph and down onto the paper. And there's still a section missing, so I'll finish that line, and I'll end up with an X on my large drawing paper right after that. <clears throat> now this drawing paper is longer in proportion than my photograph is. So these two lines right here tell me where to cut off that extra paper. Wherever they go off the page is going to become my new place to line up dot to dot. And this is all going to be extra paper. Now you probably want to use a paper cutter to get a straighter cut, but you can take this extra paper off and now the proportion of your drawing paper and the proportion of your photograph are the same. Now from here we're going to do a series of lines to break up this X into boxes. The first line we want is a vertical line. If you've got a T-square, I would recommend using that for this but you're going to want to line your ruler up vertically. Make sure it's not slanted one way or the other, so get it as vertical as possible. And draw a vertical line through your drawing paper. And whatever you do to your drawing paper, you've got to do the same thing to your photograph. So I'll do that same thing, vertical line, right through my photograph. Now maybe some of you have guessed already that we're going to do the same thing horizontally. Um, line up your ruler so it's not leaning or tilting one way or the other. Again, a T-square would be a great tool for this. And you're going to go side to side right here. And now you'll see you've got like four sections. And of course I did it to my drawing paper. So I want to do it to my photo as well. Okay. So now I've got those four sections. Now it becomes pretty easy. These have to get divided up into their own X's. This box, this box, this box, and this box all have one diagonal line. What they need is a second line to put an X in each box. You can get that second line by lining it up at the corner of the box, top and bottom, and crisscrossing it. I'll come this way, finish these out, <clears throat> and do this very last one. And of course, I did it to my drawing paper, so I have to do it to the photo. 
X in that box. One right here. And a good tip for drawing these grids is that from this point you've got mostly what you need done. Wherever the photograph is more detailed, you want your grid to be more detailed. So for example, right here in their shirts and their legs, there's not a lot of detail. I think this amount of gridding is going to be enough. I might break these boxes down one more time. But their faces have a lot of details and I'm really going to need to know where to put stuff when I draw it on this bigger paper. So what I'll do from here is break my squares down even further. If I line up the centers of my X's now, right here, this, grade, this grid can get smaller and smaller and smaller as small in detail as you want to make it. I'm going to do these centers of these X's as well. <clears throat> And then I'm going to go horizontally, lining up these two centers. This is going this way, and this one is going through here. To save time, I won't do it on the photo, but you would do the same thing on the photo, lining up the centers here and here, and then doing it horizontally there and there, okay? Now, if you guys are starting to see a pattern, it's because this grid just gets smaller and smaller in the same pattern. So here you've got now four boxes, just like we started out with earlier. And these boxes can get X's inside of them as well, from corner to corner. You can break them down as small as you'd like. So right here, I know her face is really detailed. I'm going to want a really detailed grid right there. So I could break down just these two boxes do the exact same thing. Now I've got two centers to line up. So I could just break those down. I could go even further and end up with four miniature boxes. And now I've got four boxes that I could put X's through the corners of those, okay? So this grid can get smaller and smaller. You can use it to now enlarge your drawing so you can look and see how things fit into the grid on your photo and how they're echoed on the grid on your drawing paper. Another tip is that you could draw a grid nice and dark like this and outline it with Sharpie and then you could cut your actual drawing paper to size, put it over the top and let the grid show through underneath so you're not having to erase all these lines later on. Okay? So this is a diagonal grid. This is really useful for enlarging a photo. Thanks.